This is Jim Emter, Van Allen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for June 15th, 2020. Corn market down three quarters of a cent. Soybeans down two and a quarter. Chicago wheat up two and three quarters. Minneapolis up one and three quarters. Kansas City down two and three quarters. Really kind of a mixed day here in the grain markets. Really not a lot of direction, uh, weather fronts. We're seeing the GFS, European, Canadian, all kind of point to different trends. One uh, rather dry, which is the European, uh, one very wet, which is your GFS and some of your U.S. models. So a lot of inconsistency consistency over what's going to happen here over the next couple weeks. And that leaves the market caught here in limbo. We'll see what the crop conditions and progress uh, say here and then really set the tone from there. But we're really a couple weeks off from a major report in the grain stocks as well as the final planting numbers. And that's really going to be the catalyst. So uh, we're still holding uh, base. We're right around these breakout spots, just not able to quite push through them and uh, really get going after some of these uh, first, second, and third price counts. Over in feeder cattle up seven and a half, live cattle steady uh, to up 67 and a half, hog market up 60. Uh, nice reversals here for the cattle and hog base today, uh, trying to build on some premium base and we'll see if that can't carry through here as we work ahead. Market's kind of uh, there too, stuck in a rut, consolidated in and uh, we'll see if we can't get uh, something going here as we work ahead. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexander, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for uh, for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.